Hey guys, welcome back to another Kubernetes video. Today I'm going to be talking about labels and selectors. This will be a bit of a prelude to a video series I'm going to be doing on scheduling and how we can use the Kubernetes API to you know, distribute our pods across the machines that we have set up in our cluster. But I'm going to briefly overview labels and selectors and how they're used in Kubernetes today. It should be quite a quick one, so uh, stick around and that future content will be easier to get through. So first of all, what are labels? Labels are key value pairs that are attached to objects. They're used to specify attributes of objects and organize groups of objects. So you can imagine in an organization um, we will have different structures or different sets of components that we'll want to deploy in Kubernetes. We may want to deploy our objects across different environments like staging, development, um, and then production. And we could use labels to group our objects there. Similar, we may have different applications that we need to label the different objects that belong to those applications. And we may have uh, different releases of those applications. So these are all use cases for labels. Um, essentially what a label does, it allows us to um, apply certain information to uh, objects or groups of objects. And then selectors. Selectors are used to identify a group of objects. So when we have specified labels for an object, we can then use selectors to say, grab a certain group of those objects and then, uh, you know, maybe group them using certain other objects. Like, you know, we could have a set of pods that have specific labels and then a replica set could be used to manage those pods and the replica set will identify the labels that the pods have and filter them with a selector. So there are a couple of different types of selectors. The first type is equality based, and that is what you see up here on the right hand side. So we have this match labels field and under that we will have a label that corresponds to uh, the label that we're trying to select um, that in our example will have this label in all of the pods that we want to uh, select with this match labels field. Then, um, as I said, it must match a particular label when we're using uh, equality based selectors. Then we have set based selectors and these uh, are more expressive and they allow us to apply different operators um, when selecting labels that exist on, you know, or dis different resources. So there are four operators that we can use. Um, in, not in, exists, and does not exist. So in is a uh, operator that allows us to select from a list, right? So in the example here, uh, the two values that we want to match in this selector are payroll and web. So any any uh, pod or object that has the um, label that matches name and then either payroll or web as the value will be selected with this match expressions selector. Um, similarly, not in is the inverse of this, so we could give a list that we want to exclude from our selector. Exists is when we want to only select a key. So for example, if we had a label uh, app and then we put in uh, app into our match expressions using the exists operator, then every object that has the app key in its label will get uh, selected and the does not exist is the opposite of that. So we want to avoid those uh, labels that have the particular key that we specify. And here is, apologies for the poor resolution, but here is a kind of classic example of how we would use labels and selectors 
uh, when we're deploying an application. So in this case, we have a deployment uh, manifest here, client deployment, as we can see. And under template, this is the pod spec for all of the pods that are going to be deployed under this deployment. The template we can see has this metadata field. Metadata uh, is where we place our labels. So we have labels and app is Nginx. Then outside of that, we have a replica set that's managing our pod. And this has the selector match labels Nginx. So this replica set will ensure that we have three pods running uh, that we have defined down here because we are um, matching this label that is defined within the pod spec. Now, when we want to expose that uh, application that we've defined in this manifest here using a service, then we will specify a selector within our service manifest and we will add the app colon nginx label that we prior defined within our pods and that service will then route all the traffic that we have coming in to our application in this case it's just an nginx server and pass it to the set of three backend pods that we have defined so i hope that clarifies a little bit how labels and selectors are used in kubernetes if you have any questions please leave a comment and I will certainly get back to you. Uh, please like and subscribe and I will talk to you in the next video.